Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you real quick. I, I use these uh, Swedish um, natural products. And it's from a place called Wilma's. So, ugh, wasn't want to focus on there. But anyway, you can see there, it's, it's Wilma's. <clears throat> Um, I don't have everything that they have. I, I actually want to own everything they have because the stuff that I have right now works really well. It's just hard to get a hold of it because the last time I went to their website, they won't sell it directly to me and I have to go through like places in the UK, Belgium, or the Netherlands. So it's kind of weird. But uh, let's start... On the left over here. So, um, you know, I go to Alaska every couple years. And even in this area near Seattle and Washington, I get a lot of uh, uh, mosquitoes. Um, so these two on the left are geared more towards like a repellent, like mosquito repellent. Um, this one on the left is the uh, Bekolja. No, so I don't speak Swedish, so I know I'm probably saying it wrong. But uh, that's that's how I pronounce it. <laughs> um, we also have Nordic Summer, so luckily they put that in, a, in a, an English name. <clears throat> um, so what this pretty much is is like a oil of pine tar. So this stuff is um, pretty potent. So when you open this up, I mean, it really smells like the, uh, you just sat around the uh, campfire for the entire night, which I, I like that smell, honestly. Um, and if I don't want to talk to my wife, I put this on double, because she doesn't like that smell. Um, if, if you don't like the smell of smoke, you don't want to use this. If you love this, the smell of a campfire, buy it. Um, best thing is it's it's natural. It has a uh, brownish color. When you put it on your skin, um, it's thin enough. You don't really see that color on there. Um, the next one would be the Nordic Summer. Um, what makes this a little bit different is is that this has beeswax inside, so this is more like an ointment. Um, last time I went hunting in Alaska, which is in 2012, the neighbor over there felt, in Alaska, I felt that this worked the best as far as taking care of mosquitoes and not bothering them all day. Um, and the limited amount that I've learned from uh, the website is that this has plus beeswax and then some some sites say that they have you know like a burnt punk you know from the um, the punk fungus and this helps ward away mosquitoes and other other stuff <clears throat> all right so then this one i'm not even gonna say it but um this thing basically i use it on my boots um it's very dark so i guess it has the oil of pine tar inside of there as well as uh, lanolin. It's geared a little more towards uh, leather care. Uh, because it's dark, it, it will darken whatever leather you put this on, where the lanolin will absorb into there and help prevent it from, uh, you know, basically uh, water and, and things like that with the pine tar oil or the oil of pine tar. Um, that's going to, you know, give it some more protection. Um, right next to it, we have the mm, Later's Morning. Um, 
bad pr bad pronunciation. But anyway, uh, this is geared more towards leather, which is a, a non-hydrous um, lanolin plus um, I think there's like lemon tree oil and a couple other natural oils. Uh, so I use this on a lot of my leather where I don't want to change the color but I want to protect it uh, you know um, so this is a great product because it comes out like I said when you put this on it doesn't doesn't um, darken, darken that or that uh, leather at all so let's open this guy up You can see there. I've been using this on my um, cowboy boots. Um, it's nice. Uh, it feels kind of sticky, but you know, with non-hydrous uh, lanolin, it's not like that milky crap you get from lotions and things like that. Um, I really like this product. Uh, it even probably will work on your skin too if you wanted to. Um, I don't really wash my hands after using this one. I do after all three of these because they have that oil of pine tar in there. Um, <clears throat> here's one that I like to use is the uh, it's a hunter's liniment. I'm not even gonna pronounce that, but you can see it. But it means like a hunter's liniment. So um, this is all natural. This has. Uh, I guess lanolin in there, mint, or you know, mint oil, a eucalyptic uh, oil. Um, I don't know, that's all nice. Um, gives you that kind of minty um, smell. I put this on my um, back or my um, limbs, you know, when I feel a little. Um, you know, I, my wife actually likes this one. Um, it's it does smell, you know, like eucalyptus and mint. But what's good is it's it's all natural. Helps soften your uh, skin as well as give you that heat there where you need it. Um, <clears throat> what's this last one? So the last one really is it's just a uh, spruce gum so it's just spruce resin gum um, what I like about this is, is the stuff that my elders and if you have followed me or even my name okay I'm Eskimo Marine right I used to be in the Marines and I'm half Eskimo anyway this is the type of stuff that my grandparents would you so it's basically just uh, like a spruce res resin um, gum so this stuff gets kind of hard um, what's cool about this is you know no matter how hard or dry this gets when you chew this um, you can taste it I mean, I've seen this stuff so dry that it looks, you know, like a whitish brown. Um, and then you can re reuse most of it, you know. I mean, some of it dissolves, but most of it stays there. So, um, the reason I bought this is, you know, I'm going back to Alaska. I'll see a lot of elders. I'm going to give this to the elders. Um, and they really seem to like this because it reminds them of the old times. Um, and I like it sometimes too. I mean, there's no there's no sugar or anything in there, so it's not sweet at all. You get that taste of uh, you know, like a a pine or you know, a spruce. Um, but I wanted to show you that. The last thing, this is not from Wilma's, but this is made by uh, is that Castrons. Um, but basically, this is made to hold the Beckel Jets. And so the reason that I bought this, which is really crazy, but this thing is so small, right? So I carry this almost everywhere I go. 
I carry it almost everywhere. But I lose it easily, so I'll, I'll put it in my backpack or my chest pack or something like that. I can never find it. So, you know, even though this this little holder cost me, I think, uh, around $40 after uh, shipping from England, because I can't get it directly from Wilma's in Sweden, um, it's worth it to me, because now I, I can put this on my belt, and I've got my natural mosquito repellent right on my belt. Or if I want to put on a, a pack or something like that, you know, fine. I'll just use my um, adapter so I can put it on my pals webbing or whatever I'm doing, right? Anyway, hey, thanks a lot for uh, looking. And you can take a look at everything they have. Although if you're in the U.S., you're probably going to have to get them from the U.K. or the Netherlands or Belgium. All right, have a good day. If you have any questions, give me a call. Don't call me. Fuck. Post it on there, and I'll try to ask as soon as I can. Sorry for my language. Thank you.